The messengers and prophets of Allah are basically in two categories. They can be, they could be a nabi. A nabi, nabi comes from the word naba. Naba means news. So nabi was the person who used to, whom Allah chose out of his bondsmen and revelations were sent to him. And this nabi or the prophet gave the news of the revolution and commandments of Allah to the people. And then the second category is the Rasul. Rasul was a person whom Allah chose from among the bondsmen. Revolutions were sent down to the Rasul. But in addition, the Rasul of the messengers were also given a holy book or a holy scripture. So this is the basic difference between a Nabi or a prophet and a Rasul or a messenger. Messengers were given holy books or divine scriptures, but the prophets or the Anbiya were just given, just given the revelations. And moreover, the Rasul or the Rusul, they also brought a new Sharia. And because of these two reasons that the Rasul brought a new Sharia and the Rasul was given a holy book, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised to protect and safeguard the lives of the Rasuls and not so regarding the Anbiya. That is why Allah says, وَيَقْتُلُونَ النَّبِيِّينَ بِغَيْرِ حق. The followers of the Anbiya did murder them, but no follower of the Rusul was allowed to do that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had taken the charge of protecting the Rasul. And so if I may say, you, you may understand that all Anbiya are not Rusul, but all Rusul are Anbiya. There are four Rusul may, uh, mentioned in the Quran. Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam khalilullah as his scripture is mentioned in Quran is Suhuf Ibrahim of Musa. Then Hazrat Musa alayhi salam Allah mentions giving Hazrat Musa alayhi salam Torah or the Old Testament. And then Hazrat Dawood alayhi salam wa atayna Dawood sabura Zabur was the holy scripture which was revealed to Hazrat Dawood alayhi salam. And then Hazrat Isa alayhi salam was given in Jeel or the New Testament. And then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was given or was revealed the Quran. So five Rusul have been mentioned in the Quran. And then another five category of five Ulul Azam Anbiya. Five Ulul Azam Anbiya are the five steadfast prophets. And the top of the line is Hazrat Nu alayhi salam because he was the one who with full perseverance and steadfastness was preaching and was teaching the message of Allah to his people for full 950 years in his life. And then in this Ulul Azam Anbiya, we have Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam.